Hey, I'm Mike from How We Do Disney, and I'm here going to watch the new Star Wars movie, Rise of Skywalker. I'll let you know how it is when I get out. It's be a short episode, I won't get too crazy, but here we go. Well, I pre ordered tickets for Showcase Cinema, and I forgot to set up my email, so I said it mailed the, uh, the tickets to me. So I'm going up there thinking, all right, it's going to be, you know, a little bit of a hassle. Not their fault, but just a little bit of a hassle. My fault. But it took two seconds. It was just like, all right, just give me the card on file. There you go. You know, I, I, they printed up the tickets. So I'm going to go grab something to eat. I think we've got about 10 minutes. So I don't know what I'm going to have, but I'm going to go see the movie. Well, um, I'm back from the movie, as you can tell. Um, I have thoughts. Um, I can't guarantee I'm not going to spoil anything at this time. I'm spoiling for who the three people are going to watch this. Um, let me get down to brass tacks. Um, with the YouTube uh, channels, you see the clickbait and it says you know this movie is abomination it's the worst thing it's it's horrible it's, it's just you know they were setting us up to be worse than last jedi in my opinion last jedi is one of the worst movies in the star wars saga um if not the worst um <clears throat> and yes i'm aware of phantom menace and attack of the clones and stuff like that and i understand they're flawed but that's neither here nor there um, I went in this as a person who is a fan of Star Wars, and it is kind of, as I'm sitting through the credits, it's kind of a a goodbye to a part of my childhood. Or, not goodbye, because um, technology can visit time and time again the Star Wars saga, but, you know, I lived through, um all the Star Wars movies. Um, unfortunately, and I guess it's a good thing because it means I'm still young, I wasn't able to see the first two. At least I don't have any memory of seeing Star Wars A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Um, but I was able to grow up, Return of the Jedi, and be a Star Wars fan, and I went through the dark periods where... It didn't feel like the dark periods. I don't know how people are going to feel about, you know, is there going to be any length of time between episode 9 and episode 10. Um, I kind of hope that they do that to people. People need to know what gratification is. You know, instead of instant gratification, you wait. Imagine, 2019, 2020, you have to wait. I really... 
I'm glad that, you know, during the period where there's no new Star Wars movies, there was always the imagination, and it was always HBO and TBS that would replay the movies till the 97, or the re-releases came out, and then Phantom Menace, and so on and so forth. But this is supposed to be a review on Rise of the Jedi, and Internet's Rise of Skywalker. Um... Let's first get some of the things out of the way before the review. John Williams' music is, of course, amazing. Um, I loved how they brought back music from, you know, the original trilogy and placed it in the music, and it seemed to be very fitting of the scene. Now, if you don't want any spoilers, I'm going to spoil this part but still be a little bit vague and not spell it out. When Luke Skywalker's ship, the Red Five um, X-Wing, rose from the water, um, it was a carbon, it was a copy or an homage to when in Empire Strikes Back, um, Yoda lifted Luke's ship out of the swamp. And it really, and it, and what really got me, and, it, and and I'm always sitting here in moments in this movie and being like, does do people get it? The people get it that this is the exact music they use for that, the exact score that they use for that scene, that they use in that scene. I love that. That was that that was that was smart. That was smart movie making. I felt this movie served the fans, in my opinion, without being heavy-handed fan service. Like, here you go, here's Chewbacca, here you go. Um, everything in there seemed, for the most part, it fit right. I might be wrong, but it's my opinion. I must admit that when the first the scroll came out and the first line is, the dead risen, or the dead had uh, risen, I was like, okay, I think I'm... <laughs> I think I'm going into this movie and knowing that it's not going to be a good movie. So, I guess part of me just said, no, don't do that. Don't be cynical. Don't pick on this movie. Don't sit there in every nuance and stuff. Because trust me, I think if Star Wars A New Hope and Empire and Return of Jedi came out now, it would probably get lambasted too, in a way. <coughs> don't hold me to that. It's, it's tough to predict. But there's plenty of things that you can pick on. Um, from the original trilogy. Um, this movie was, was amazing. I loved it. I love it. I, I, I will admit that I cried a few times. A little tears came down. When you... This is, isn't a spoiler. Princess Leia was made to die. I'm not going to tell you how she died, but she passed. She became one with the Foss. That moment got me because it played... I think it might have played Leia's theme. It also did that for Lando. Everybody knows Lando Carissian's in it. Um, I have some questions for people. And I think I'll do it live on Facebook. Because this is six minutes. I want to leave this short and stuff. Um, this was better than Force Awakens by a milestone. Force Awakens, is, I like, I, I, I went Force Awakens and I came and I watched it. I was blown away from it. Love it. I don't care if it's got some, like, well, it's the same thing as New Hope. Well, guess what? I love a New Hope. So, suck a fat one. Um, that's what I really have to say. I don't want to spoil it. It was a good movie. It had... It tugged on the heartstrings a couple times. And, um... I think a movie accomplishes its goal when it does that. When it gets reactions. Um, positive, obviously. You know, getting teary-eyed over a movie is kind of the goal of escaping. The world escaped when I watched this movie. I did a couple times go... This is why YouTubers are idiots. They just want clickbait. They just want hit. I'm never going to get hits off of this. But I'll tell you one thing. This movie was the best movie of that of this uh, sequel. No doubt. Last, and it's not comparing itself 
you know, it, Last Jedi was not good. It was not a good movie. I I believe that. Um, it was too, like, silly for its own good. It was trying to do Empire Strikes Back type stuff. The problem is, is they already did that better in a movie called Empire Strikes Back. Um... The homage is at the end to the old world. Because this whole story is basically closing the books on nine movies. Or eight movies. And this is nine. And, yeah, I guess you can include Rogue One and stuff like that. Um, surprising cameos. Voices. Um, I also... You'll see in the credits... Um, what I'm talking about. Carrie Russell. I don't know where Carrie Russell was. I missed that. Um, maybe I wasn't paying attention. Because Star Wars movies tend to... You tend to get developed, enveloped into the characters. And into the world that you don't sit there and go... Hey, that's Carrie Russell from uh, Felicity. I think it is. Whatever. But in the end... Um, I, I want to see this movie again. Whether I will... Till it comes out, I'll wait till it comes out on video, or I'll go to the movies again. But this is definitely like the Force Awakens, where I'm. I have no problem seeing this movie again if I if I feel like doing it. I don't know if I will. Depends how long uh, it's out. Uh, hopefully, like you know, maybe next year, uh, I'll catch it again before I have to see it on a, you know, on a. 47 inch TV instead of a screen I have to I have to admit the Showcase Cinema in Warwick Mall in like the property of Warwick Mall um, I have a hearing uh, impairment and I think I um, where I sat was a really good seat for sound and for the visuals uh, I got I don't got the greatest neck in the world and it can get mm, sore and stuff I had no problem watching the movie like when you first walk in the theater and to the right is the screen and to the left is the stadium seats, I sat in the part on the right instead of the left where everybody else did. Um, I had the seats to myself. It was half full. But where I was sitting, all there was was like a guy with like four boys and stuff like that. Other than that, the rest of the theater had everybody in it. And I just stretched out and watched a movie. It was an amazing movie. Star Wars, J.J. Abrams did a great job. Long live the memory of Star Wars and all those who have come before and have passed and become one with the Force. Remember, make a wish and do as dreamers do. My wish and dreams always go back to Disney and enjoy that movie. <laughs>